Hi everyone and welcome back to Make Our World Your Runway. The show not only covers the pageant industry, but the modeling, fashion, entertainment, and business industry. But before we start our show today, we do have some very sad news in the world of pageantry. We were very saddened to hear of the passing of Miss USA 2019, Chesley Christ. Our hearts go out to her family during these difficult times. She was such a beautiful lady that wore that crown in her heart with such dignity and grace. So again, our condolences go out to her family and everyone in the pageant world. She was such a great loss. But now I would like to tell you a little bit about our next guest before I introduce her. She's not only beautiful, intelligent, but one of the most dynamic entertainers and performers that I have had the distinct pleasure of being acquainted with. Being a performer myself, I can tell you, it gives me great pleasure to welcome this week's guest, the Queen of Salsa, Malina Amadova. to make our world your runway. I'm so excited. I am so sorry about my dogs. They're in the background. <laughs> Hi, Angela. That's okay. How are you? you know what? The dog, <laughs> the dog adds to the excitement. He is horrible. <laughs> sorry <laughs> about that. He's stopping now. He, he's going to stop now. But thank you guys okay. for having me. I'm super excited. Oh, no, believe me. It's, it's, it's our pleasure. I, you know, as I said, being an entertainer myself, it is such a, a pleasure to see someone like you who's such a pro that when you get on that stage, you're not only beautiful, your intelligence comes out, but your talent is absolutely amazing. You are such oh, a dynamic you. entertainer that if you don't make it to the big time, something is wrong. I mean, you're almost there, <laughs> but if you don't become the world's greatest female entertainer, something is wrong. Oh, oh that's very nice of you to say. We're working very hard to make that happen. Thank you. Yes. It, we, yeah. We're doing really good. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things going on. So I'm super excited about all the stuff that's coming up. Um, exactly. As you know, salsa music is a genre that is not popular. Yeah. It's not like the number one, uh, you know, genre in the world. And that's really uh, right. my goal is to become, you know, and I am one of the, you know, premier salsa artists right now. So, so that's, I'm really happy with that. So I don't want to become... JLo or anything like that. But thank you. I'm really <laughs> No, no, no. You're 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 totally different than JLo. I mean, you 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 do your own thing and your genre, you you are it. But I mean, I I've, I've seen you cross over. I've seen, you know, you do a lot of salsa, but I've seen you sing some American music too and it, it's absolutely fantastic. And every thank time you. I watch you perform, I love it because you know, I watch American Idol and I watch some of these shows and I'm like somebody better learn how to sing. <laughs> And, you know, being a trained myself, my ears can hear things. But when I listen to you, I can, I'm, I'm being very honest with you. I never hear a flaw or a mistake. And that is very hard to accomplish. Very, very Thank hard. you. I, I, I don't know. I'm very hard on myself. So I, I'm you so saying that me. means a lot to me. I'm super hard on myself. Sometimes I hear myself and I'm like, ah, like, oh, no, no, no. But, uh, you know, I think that happens to every performer. I think it. Yeah, it does. It happens to every performer. But anyway, I mm -hmm. want to start out with Salsa Fest because that's coming up with April the 9th. I want our viewers to know about that. And I know you have a lot of things, a lot planned. So tell us what's going on. Well, yes, you know, as you know, you've been, we've been friends for a while. And during the pandemic, yes. we became better friends, which is awesome. Um, I have been performing with Tito Puente Jr. for, for a while. And you're a very good friend of his and a exactly. big supporter with your pageant and everything. And we go on your pageant cruise um, with you and we do your parent pageants all the time, which I'm very grateful uh, for that opportunity with Tito. Um, but a lot of people don't know that I am the producer of Hollywood Salsa Fest and also the producer of Miami Beach Salsa Fest. Um, and this year, uh, 
you know, we're going to be able to come back and do the Hollywood Salsa Fest. So we're yes. extremely excited. Yes, the city of Hollywood has already said yes, that we're going to do it and we're not going to cancel it and that we're going to move right. forward. Um, yeah, because a lot of things are still kind of mm, iffy, you know, and I and I really did think that that was going to happen this year again. Um, but uh, about two months ago, we got the okay from the city of, of Hollywood. And uh, my partner, my producing partner and myself, Christina Moinello, are super, super excited about um, bringing an amazing show to people that have been waiting for the Hollywood Salsa Fest because now it has become a tradition in the city of Hollywood. We did a documentary um, about yes. uh, the, the Hollywood Salsa Fest during the pandemic. Um, I produced it in 2021 um, with the help of, of the city of Hollywood, and it already has had more than 20,000 views. So I'm really, really excited, uh, you know, to share my experience in, in salsa music. And, and, you know, that's my love is salsa music is all I've ever wanted to sing. And for me, it's, it, I'm just ready. I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to to express myself, I'm ready to bring an amazing show to people uh, yes. as a producer as well. Um, we have some amazing, amazing, amazing artists that are going to be there. Um, oh yeah, Talia I, I, I know. is going to be there. He's com he is confirmed, um, you know. And so Charlie Ponte, he used to sing with El Gran Combo de Puerto Rico for many years. Oh, yeah. So he will be there. Tito will be there. I'll be there, and uh, Tim Balive is going to be there as well. And my most wonderful dream that I've ever had in my life is for one of my favorite singers, salsa singers in the world is Bobby Cruz from Richie Bobby Ray and Cruz. Bobby Cruz. And he has confirmed that he is going to be there. So I'm so excited to me. He's one of the best singers in, in salsa music. So for me, I'm just, I'm just elated. I'm, I can't believe it's happening really. <laughs> no, it, it's fantastic. I mean, I've seen it before 10,000, 11,000 people, uh, that, that just are in the park. It is absolutely amazing. You know that, that the last show, Natalie and I were off to the side dancing the whole time. Yes. <laughs> I know, it is. It, it's absolutely fantastic. Of course, I'll be there. And I've even told a lot of my supporters up in New York, especially Charles Shabetti, who used to be with the Copacabana, and they're very excited about it. In fact, I think Charles is going to make a trip down here. I said to him, really? you don't want to miss this show. <laughs> And he hasn't been down here in a few years. And he said, well, you know, I'm not a Floridian. I said, forget it. I said, this is one show you do not want to miss. And one you thing about to. Charles, if he comes down, you believe me, he's got such a following. 10,000, 11,000, you'll have 12,000, 13,000 with him. So Bring it. We're ready. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're ready. I, I'm, I'm ready. I can't wait. My girls are ready to be there, especially Walena. Um, oh, we I just got Walena. the of the year. <laughs> Yeah, Willina. Willina is fabulous. Like I, let me tell you, everything, every time I see her posts, I'm like, I wish I had her confidence. Oh my God. I'm like, oh, I'm just kind of like, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. She has all this confidence and she's just, you know, I am like that when I sing, when I perform, but yes. she's just like that every day. Like I just see oh, her yeah. sitting around her house like that. <laughs> every, every day when she comes into an event, I tell everybody, I said, you know, I'll introduce people. I said, wait, now watch, Melina's, Melina's coming in. Oh, and when she yes, comes yes. in, the whole room lights up. I mean, yes. uh, you know, it's just like, she has this attitude. It's like, yes. that's what she does. When She's she comes amazing. In. I'm yeah, trying it, to find, you know, I'm trying to find something to put her in. Like, I'm trying to find something like a video or do something with her because she's fantastic. And I told her well, that she, day that we were, we were at she the, just at did the a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just did a video yesterday because she made a top model of the year for supermodels magazine. And she just did a video yesterday and all that cold for pink apple dresses. Yeah. And, I saw it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now she's going to be the face of pink apple dresses. So when I told her about salsa fest, she said, I need to do a video for Salsa Fest. I said, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, so. but well, I'm going to figure out something. I'm going to figure, I'm trying to figure out something with her because, um, yeah. you know, I really believe that she deserves to be, I mean, she's just one of these people that is like, and she does not care. She is all about, nope. I mean, and I just wish, I wish that I, when I was her age, 
you know, she's considerably younger than I am. I wish that I was, I would have been like that. I would have like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like just crazy. It, she's it, Exactly. Forward. But you know, I, I didn't realize this and looking at your bio last night, and I know you did the big salsa fest when uh, Miami Beach, I believe, had, I think it was their 100th uh, year anniversary. And mm -hmm. you did get the, uh, the, the um, you did get the key to the city from another mutual friend of ours, Mayor mm -hmm. Levine. Yes, 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 that, yes. He's amazing. Yes, he's, oh yeah, he's he helped amazing. me so I, much. I, mm -hmm. I wrote him a note the other day and I said, I miss you terribly. Yes. <laughs> A lot of people do. He was an amazing mayor and uh, he, I, I really love, you know, I love politics and I do a lot of things for, for politicians. And so yes. um, he kind of gave me my start in, in, in Miami beach, really uh, working uh, with the community and working with the elderly. Um, in 2013, I was hired to do his campaign to do like every single event. Um, I was kind of like his hype person. It was weird. It was yeah. like, hey, no, hey, like, like the, you know, it was, it was really interesting, and I really learned a lot. Um, he's an extremely dedicated person, extremely hardworking. Yes, yes. Um, you know, he learned. He said, "I'm gonna learn Spanish during." And he did. And he learned Spanish in like four months, literally, like yes. speaking full sentences. <laughs> I was like, whoa. You know, a lot of people say I'm gonna do it, and they don't really, they don't really do it. And he did it. He hired someone. He had a coach. He did. You know, it was amazing. He's a very, uh, you know, he's a, such a go-getter, such an inspiring person. In really. fact, that's the first time I actually met you personally. I mean, Tito had told me you were <laughs> gonna perform with us at the pageant, but I actually worked on his campaign here in Palm Beach. And when he kicked off his campaign, mm -hmm. his bus tour, I was actually on that. And what got me about Mayor Levine is that he really brought back fashion to Miami Beach. He was so instrumental yes. in bringing back <laughs> Miami Fashion Week. He was amazing. Yes. And uh, in fact, the Mayor Buddy Dwyer up in Orlando copied that. That's when Orlando International Fashion Week really kicked off. So he did a lot for the music world. He did a lot for the fashion world. So, uh, I mean, he... You're right. He was just very instrumental. And I didn't realize that when you performed at that show, you were on the bill with um, a, a lot of key, a lot of key people, um, yes. especially the um, the opera singer. OK. Yes. And, Andre Bocelli, Gloria Stefan. And Andre Bocelli. Yes. yes. The what's the, the gentleman from the Bee Gees, the singer, the, the main singer, he was there. I, I forget. What Barry Gibb. Uh, Barry Gibb. That's it. Yes. Barry Gibb. And, yeah. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of amazing artists, like other artists that are local artists from here. Um, you know, I just had this, it was amazing. I mean, I just can't even, this, this town, you know, Florida has been so amazing to me um, as yes. a person. I, I moved down here in 2005 because I, I wanted to, you know, be a salsa singer. Like that's what I wanted to do. I mean, uh, be a salsa recording artist. And, and it's just been something that has really evolved into so many different things. Like I came with the idea of becoming a singer, right? And it's just now when I look back, uh, you know, I never would have thought in my whole entire life that all these other things would have happened. You know, like I became a producer, I started saying with Ito Puente Jr. Uh, you know, I, I work in politics. I, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, I never thought, that's why I tell people, you know, it, when they want this one thing, uh, give life a chance to take you where it wants to take you sometimes, you know, um, exactly. don't just do, 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 don't just kind of put the blinders on and be like, this is all, the only thing I want to do in life. For me, I know that I can do many things. Like I can produce, I never thought in my life I would do a documentary. And during the pandemic, I got the opportunity to do it. And I learned so much, you know, right. producing a documentary. And, and I looked back at everything that I had accomplished with my friend Christina and I just I can't believe it really honestly Angela I'm like I'm I'm just so happy that I can do what I love to do and inspire people to to love salsa music and and perform with Tito and we he and I have such a great relationship he's like the brother I never had I have yep. two sisters and he's like my brother we talk every single day um you know it gets to a point sometimes when he's just like 
hey, like, if we just talk, like, like, we're just, like, Rosalie says we're twins and we're really four people on the stage because we have the same birthday, almost the same, same birthday. He's June 2nd, I'm June 3rd. Right. Uh, a couple of years apart, but still, if we are Geminis and we understand each other, like, I understand him and he understands me. We're extreme. We are like a lot, a lot of like. So, yeah, I'm just grateful to life that I, I've been able to do all these things. No, I, that, that's absolutely fantastic. And I think another thing I want our viewers to know, and I've always said you should be awarded for this. During the pandemic, when we were on lockdowns, you used to do a show every Friday night. And yes. <laughs> not only for myself, but I used to read the comments from people. You kept everyone's spirits up. I mean, there Aww. were days. There were days I was dragging. Like I said, when my cousin got COVID and we almost lost her, oh, I was no. pretty much at the end of my rope. And yeah. when you would have your shows on Friday night, and my mother would chime in, oh. uh, either my bedroom or my living room, we would start dancing. And no. it was just a breath of fresh air because now we weren't watching the news. We weren't hearing about COVID. It was almost like getting right back to life, which yeah, was fantastic. Thank you. And then when COVID thank started you. loosening up and I started going back into the supermarkets, there were many times on a Friday night, I told you I was in the supermarket and your show would come on and I'd go <laughs> over to the deli counter and I'd be playing your show. And so nice. in fact, they had, they're asking me about your show because the deli counter would stop. For a half hour. <laughs> but it was funny. You could not get anything. They would go in the back and the manager himself would have to come out and he says, pardon me, he says, but they're, they're salsa dancing in the back. Because it would stop. I, 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 and if it wasn't there, I'd be with the I'd be with the cart like this. Okay, pushing the cart. Um, <laughs> and that's how it, they would actually stop Publix for an hour. I mean, I had more that's people coming in and watching it. And that was absolutely fantastic because you lifted the spirits of so many people. It was um, amazing. Thank you. No, that means a lot to me. <laughs> trust me, you, you did it. I mean, like I said, I was like clockwork. When it would be 25, you'd come on from 8.30 to 9.30. 25 after 8, I didn't care what was going on. If I had no makeup on, makeup on, or whatever, that was it. I was glued to that show. And well, I told my husband, I was like, I have to do something. I, I can't sit here. I'm just the type of person that loves action. Like, I I have to do something. And and I wasn't doing anything, like, literally in my house, you know. And, and I said, I have all the tools. I have the sound equipment. I have the microphone. I have everything. So why not do it? Like, do it. Let's do it. And, you know, slowly it just grew. I had almost 45,000 views of one of the shows. I mean, yes, you did. It's insane. Like I should keep doing it, but the thing is that if I do it online, people probably won't come Ooh. see me live. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, exactly. That's that. that, that, that that's what it is. Or something. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because uh, you know what it is. I think it's uh, uh, it's not. I mean, the people here, of course, will go see you live, but and I mean, you do travel. So if you're traveling in areas where people did watch the show, they'll come and see you. But there are right. some people that. You may not be performing in that state or whatever, so I think they did. Uh, sure. They did look forward to that. Yeah. So, oh, absolutely. Uh, I might just start doing it again. Yes, I have a. You know, I. I don't know. I think I might do it may maybe once or twice a month. Not every Friday, but maybe once or twice, and do a, a shorter version of the yeah, show. Yeah, because I remember for that hour, people would be. It was like a little fan, fan, like a little club, and everybody would be talking. Hi, how are you? Like from you know, from another country or whatever, yes. or another state. Hi, it's so great to see, to, to talk to you. And I, I mean, I felt really great that, you know, everybody was so into it and, and, and just, it was, I, I just didn't, I just told, I told Kevin, my husband, I was like, we need to do something. I need to do something. I'm going to yeah. do it Friday night. And it's just, that's, that's the way it's going to be for the, till we get out of this. Um, and right. then in 2021, I started performing, I started doing things. So I was like, okay, right. let me just, taper that off and my grandma was loving it like my grandma was always there <laughs> oh she was always there yeah my mom too my mom too everybody was yeah there. your mom was there listen to get max from dancing with the stars to watch that to watch you when i saw max come in i said oh wait a minute i said no. <laughs> i mean i know max so i had told max i said max you have to come in on a friday night and right. when i saw him his name come up okay 
I said, oh, that's it, all right? And if I know Max, he was definitely dancing in his living room, okay? And it's funny right. because <laughs> Tito actually performed on Dancing with the Stars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, he performed. I wish they'd bring him back, I, the two of you back on that show. Uh, I would because love that. That would be amazing, yes. <laughs> exactly, because then I'll watch it again. I Last couple of years, i kind of been piecemailing it since Max is no longer on the show. But, mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, you did have some very prominent people that actually came in. My cousin, uh, of course, he does different type music. He's into more country and Western. And right now he's like number one on the Rockabilly station. And he does a great Elvis act. He was watching. You tell me about him, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was watching you on a Friday night. And now he started doing his show a little different. I noticed there's a little bit of a Latin flair when he goes out to perform. <laughs> so you've been very encouraging to so many people. I mean, it, it's been amazing. Now well, I was like, uh, I don't know if it tracks like, well, whatever. It's what we have and people are going to like it. So I just did it with the tracks and I have no idea what it sounded like on the other end. And Tito oh, was right. always like, you need a, Tito was coaching me. He's like, and he would watch it too. <laughs> Tito would come in on fr <laughs> Friday nights and everybody would be like, hey, Tito. It, it was great. It was something yeah, it was great. very special and one time, different. Yeah. One time you and Tito performed together. You did a Friday night with the two of you performed yes. together. And that was that, that was had 30. Do you know that that had that that video has over 50,000 views? That video of the one time we did it live. Remember, we I went to his house and we did it from his house. I'm going to show you. I'm going to send you. So people have been circulating that video for this whole pandemic. Oh, Crazy. yeah. I know I, I circulated. And also, um, I did find out, you know, Bahama Paradise Cruise Line is transitioning into Margaritaville at sea. Right. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, Bahamas will still be the major players, but it's, it's not that Margaritaville took us over. We're partnering with them. And, of course, Jimmy Buffett owns Margaritaville. But Fernando... Yes. Uh, who happens to be in charge of entertainment for Margaritaville and is also from Puerto Rico, uh, Nasley and I are trying to get him to Salsa Fest. Because I have okay. told him, I said, <laughs> if you're looking to do talent for that ship, you've got to come to Salsa Fest. I said, you've got to see Molina perform. So I definitely think we're going to be able to get him there. That would be amazing. I, I Let me tell you, I have some just and i'm building the show right now and in my mind and just i mean it's gonna be so awesome like i can't even <laughs> i can't even explain to you angela how amazing i i see this show as the comeback of uh, all of us you know of south florida the comeback oh, of, of of people coming out again um you know i'm just i'm just so excited like i can't even explain to you how grateful I am to people like yourself and that supported me during the pandemic because you supported me doing the Miami Beach Salsa Fest twice during the pandemic. We did it in 2020 with zero people in a storm. Yep. Remember it was storming and you couldn't make oh, it. Oh, I remember and, that. Like, yep. Let me tell you, this, these past two years have been like, just, you know, I don't know, like what else, what other obstacles? Yeah, right. Have, you what, know? Exactly. Well, I, th I think think I think 2022 is is going to be absolutely fantastic. I think we're my personal views. I think we're starting to we're starting to come out of COVID. Okay, uh, more and more people have gotten vaccinated. They do have medication now that if people get sick, they can take. I don't think it's ever going to go away, but it's going to be like the flu. You know. Well, you know, I ha I got it. I got it during yeah. Christmas. I know, and you I got it. I spent. A year and a half, almost two years without getting it, going out. Right. For, I mean, not during 2020 because I didn't go anywhere, but but during 2021, the beginning, you know, I it was like, fine. I was wearing my mask and everything, and I got all my vaccines and my booster. And then at the end of 2020, 2021, oh, no. during Christmas, I was doing a bunch of events. Right. And I got it. And I was like, oh my gosh, but thank God I got all my boosters and I got my vaccines and all that stuff. And I, it didn't really, it didn't do, I did great, you know, yeah, considering. Because you, got, you, got, you right. had a mild, a mild case yes. of it. 
And I right. swear, before, when it first came out, when they didn't know what they were looking for, I had it. Because for 21 days, I was sick. I had no taste, no smell. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. stomach, they didn't know what was wrong with my stomach. Mm -hmm. I, I, and for me, when I can't get out of bed, I mean, right. I'm, I'm a morning and an evening person. I could go to bed at three and right. jump up at six. When I can't yes. get out of bed or I'm starting to go to bed at two, three in the afternoon, something is wrong. And the day that I almost passed out in Publix, I said, I've got something. That's it. Yeah. And then. Could have been. Those, yeah. After those 21 days, I was fine. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I did the antibody test. They claim I never had it. But I still say I had a touch of it when it first, first came out. Well, Tito thought that it. too. He was really sick for a bit too. Um, yeah. Right in the beginning. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I think, I think we all had it somewhere along the line, but you right. know what? I think we're at the, uh, me personally, I think we're at the end of it now. I oh, think things are going to be great. <laughs> the second half of 2022 is going to be fabulous. You've got an amazing show. And Christina, I love Christina. <laughs> Okay. Christina is my my right hand person. She's, I mean, I'm telling you, she's great. She does. Uh, we are uh, friends. First of all, we've been friends since 29, uh, 2009. I met yeah, her at great. an event um, with our friend Claudia. We met the same night. Uh, and, uh, she used to go to everything I did. I used to do a salsa night in Miami beach at, at Tapas and Pintos on Espanola way. And she used to go religiously every Tuesday dancing and we became friends and, you know, every, everything I ever did, uh, you know, she supported. And then one day she said, Hey, you know, I, she has a business in Hollywood and that's how that ended up being. So she right. said to me, um, you know, they're, they're having a concert series and I would really like to tell them about you so that you would do your concert series there, right. you know, like you do your concert there. And then you know, she said, let me go meet, let's go meet with them and whatever. And we went and they said, okay, let's do a concert. And then after we did the concert, I said to them, why don't we do before, actually before, why don't we do a festival and try to do it every single year? And so instead of Melina Almodovar's festival or, or whatever concert, we did Hollywood Salsa Fest with Melina Almodovar. And that's what it, be, it became the Hollywood Salsa Fest, you know, Salsa Fest. seven years exactly. later. Exactly. Yeah. She's yeah, amazing. She does all it's, the logistics. <laughs> well, we've only got about four minutes left. So what are your future plans and what would you like to tell our viewers? I know we talked about Salsa Fest, but after Salsa Fest, what are your future plans and what do you see on the horizon for you for 2022? Well, Angela, I'm super excited about one thing that's going to happen this year. Uh, I have a brand new single that is coming out. All right. And I absolutely love the song. I am completely in love with this song. Um, I wrote it with my friend, uh, my di musical director, Luigi Flores. Um, it's called Voy Pa La Calle, which means I'm going to the streets. I'm leaving. I'm like out. <laughs> so wow. it's about the pen. It's sort of about the pandemic and getting back to to the street, to, to going nice. out. And I'm just so excited about it. It's supposed to come out March, in the beginning of March, right before Salsa Fest. Um, right. We're doing the video right now, uh, producing the video. And I'm just super psyched about this song. Like, I just think it's the right yes. time for it. I think it's the right, I'll be performing it at Salsa Fest. Um, you know, and I'm just, I'm just so excited about everything that we have going on. I mean, we have Miami Beach Salsa Fest in, in November again. And, you know, All right. just, I'm, I'm going to be performing in Orlando soon and Tito and I, you know, we're always going to be performing. So for me, I mean, I, I'm already where you said I am to me in my mind. I'm there. <laughs> I'm working really oh, hard. That's I'm great. Really and, hard. What, yeah. and what I will say to you, because, you know, I will sponsor you. Uh, this is this won't be the last that you will be on the show. And any of the acts that you want to come on the show, you want to have Christina you we can should make have it. Christina. <laughs> yeah, you can you Christ can be on the show leading up to Salsa Fest because we were we definitely want to promote it. So anything yes. that you want, thank you, would be great. But thank you so much for being on the show. Thank it's been you. absolutely amazing. We will be in touch. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, the beautiful Malina Amadova. Thank you so much for being on the thank show. Thank you, Angela. You're amazing, and I admire you so much. And your your pageant is incredible, and you do so much for the community. And your girls are so great. And I just. And you can count on me with anything. You know that. So thank you for having me on your show.
Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Melina Amadova. Bye-bye, dear. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>